Hello there guys, my name is Coach Yardong's the Born, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. Now this is all about Six Flags and we're going to be discussing something very, very interesting because an interesting source has come out uh, about one of the current Six Flags New England roller coasters possibly leaving the park. It's just a rumour at the minute, take with a pinch of salt. Um, I did see something off of Frontier City Thrills though on their Facebook page. Uh, and they screenshotted a YouTube comment um, with some more information about these 15 Rise and Attractions removals and maybe this could relate to the Goliath sort of rumour. Um, I just gave it away then, it's Goliath. <laughs> um, but I'm going to talk about all of that in this video and sort of share my thoughts, you know, if Goliath's been relocated or removed, you know, where could it go to, etc. And um, just speak about my thoughts on it, really. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers, and we're not too far away from 500,000 views, which is unbelievable. So, thank you very much, guys, for that. Uh, for now, guys, let's get straight into this video. And let's first of all talk about the uh, YouTube comment that was screenshotted by a member of Frontier City Thrills. I'd recommend you go and check out their Facebook page. I'm part of that page. It's really good. Uh, some really die-hard Frontier City fans. And um, let's share with you the information first of all about that screenshot from the YouTube post. So, of course, take it with a pinch of salt, but the YouTube comment officially states a few things that the person has heard from a historically reliable source. Not every park is losing a ride, and some will be losing more than one. At most, two coasters are among the 15 attractions, and more likely only one. Rides targeted were either slated for removal pre-pandemic or in the bottom quartile of ridership for their park, yet top quartile in operating slash maintenance costs, so basically the uh, sort of bottom of the pile in terms of ridership and also uh, the rides were targeted or slated for removal uh, before the pandemic. Uh, and also the 15 rides are permanent retirements, relocations are on top of those. So this rumour that I'm going to talk about with Six Flags New England's coaster, Goliath, um, is not included in this, especially if it's going to be relocated, but maybe this could be a permanent removal. Now, talking about Goliath at Six Flags New England, rumour has it, according to Frontier City Thrills on Facebook, that Goliath, Six Flags New England, will be removed and relocated to another smaller park. So this will not be amongst the 15 rides and attractions. This will actually, in fact, be uh, just part of, um, like, on top of that. So this is going to be like a 16th sort of, you know, ride. So it won't be involved with the coaster or the two coasters that are being removed from the Six Flags parks permanently. Um, this will in fact be just like an on top of thing um, so this will be as well as the 15 rise of attractions so it's it's interesting that this is the relocations aren't actually potentially involved in this uh, and it is very interesting now Goliath has had a rich history at Six Flags New England for those of you who have no idea about this roller coaster and uh, now this opened on the 25th of May 2012 and it was actually relocated from a former Six Flags park because it operated from the 25th uh, of August 2001 to the 16th of October 2011, so for 10 years, as Deja Vu at Six Flags Magic Mountain before being relocated to Six Flags New England for the 2012 season. Now, this has a length of 1,204 feet, a height of 191.6 feet, a drop of 177 feet, a speed of 65.6 .6 miles per hour, three inversions, a 90 degree angle, of G-force of 4.5 in a 1 minute 32 ride duration with a capacity of 870 riders per hour. And of course, it is the Vacoma Giant Inverted Broomerang. You'll see the, the full sort of version of this on Relicos Tycoon 3 with the proper blue uh, structure involved. It's the classic RCT3 ride. And, uh, and Frontier City Thrills have actually put that on there, that rumor because maybe Frontier City could be one of the parks in the running to get this particular roller coaster. So there we go. That is talking about uh, this uh, screenshot post about the 15 miles of attractions and then looking specifically at Goliath. So a lot of information um, coming from this video um, and coming from these different sources. And, you know, obviously we have to take them as rumours for now. Take it with a pinch of salt. It is just rumours. We can't take anything for granted with this. Um, it is just a rumour, it's not confirmed as of yet. Um, but discussing the possibilities, if they are true, 
that's what this video is all about. So, first of all, I mean, I spoke about my thoughts on the uh, screenshot on YouTube post with the historic, historically reliable source. Uh, talk about the 15 rides and attractions, how relocations aren't a part of that, and it's, you know, low ridership rides, uh, rides slated for removal before the pandemic, uh, so pre-pandemic were selected in this sort of selection. Um, you know, not every park is getting rid of a ride, some park will get rid of more than one ride, uh, which is a very interesting debate. Um, we've said that in numerous videos about this topic uh, over the last few weeks. We've sort of said this before about, like, uh, I mean, we predicted maybe two rides from Six Flags America to go. We predicted uh, Penguin, Blizzard River, and um, Rodeo to potentially go. So, you know, we talked about two rides from Six Flags America um, and one ride from, you know, Great America and Magic Mountain uh, each. And, you know, technically Tidal Wave is two from Magic Mountain. Um, so we had an inkling that maybe maybe multiple rides from one park will go and maybe maybe there's one or two parks that won't get rid of any rides and attractions which is would be a very interesting prospect um and we spoke about how you know it's going to be more likely one roller coaster potentially two and the fact that relocations aren't involved in that which means the stuff we're going to talk about a little bit later in this episode about goliath and the rumor of that going to a different park and where would that go you know, again, that it brings up the entire debate of relocations aren't involved in this whole sort of 15 ride removal plan. It is it is permanent retirement, so it will be one, maybe two coasters permanent retirement. No relocations involved in the 15 rides and attractions being permanently retired around the Six Flags chain. So this relocation rumor from Goliath at Six Flags New England is a completely separate story. This is not involved with the relocation pro with the uh, sorry the permanent retirement program they're putting in over winter this year, and this is like a completely separate story. This is an, this is an, an extra like an on top kind of relocation project. Um, so yeah, my thoughts on all of that information. First of all, about the the 15 rides and attractions, very interesting. Moving on now to Goliath at Six Flags New England, and I'm glad that we've put this video in all the Six Flags theme parks playlists because we could talk about all the Six Flags parks and also talk about uh, this particular from Six Flags New England. And the rumor is that Goliath could be potentially going and being relocated to another park. And of course, it's not part of this potential pro. Well, it's potentially not part of this program, so it's not going to be uh, relocations involved, which means this is an extra coaster movement now there are a couple of parks in my opinion that spring to mind for this if they're going to get this as a relocated coaster frontier city and the great escape those are the two parks that i'm looking at here six flags st louis i think they're going to get a raptor in the next couple of years uh, maybe the boss rmc is instead who knows um i don't think it'll go to somewhere like six flags america because i think they're going to look at some getting something else in the next few years as well so what we're looking at here is Great Escape or Frontier City. Darien Lake will get something different. Um, La Ronde might... La Ronde might be in the mix. You never know. Six Flags Mexico will definitely not be in the mix. I think La Ronde is my bonus option. I think because they've just got V-Pair, I wouldn't see them getting a coaster. I really wouldn't. So my two options mainly, primarily, would be Frontier City and the Great Escape. Now, Frontier City, I think this would be a great investment for the park. They're one of the smallest Six Flags theme parks. I think this would be the, the perfect investment for them. For Great Escape, they've not really added a, added a new coaster in so many years. Again, like Frontier City. Well, Frontier City had the kiddie coaster with the new Timbertown stuff about a year or two ago. So, technically, they've had a new coaster in the last couple of years. But, in terms of thrill coasters, Frontier City has not had one for a while. Neither has the Great Escape in terms of coasters in general. Um, so I think Great Escape does need a brand new roller coaster as well. So I think either part would be likely to get it. Um, I can't really sort of make my mind up between the two and decide on one part because I think Frontier City or the Great Escape could get Goliath if this rumor is true. Like I say, it's just a rumor we have to take with a pinch of salt at the minute. So there we go, action-packed video today. Uh, talking about Six Flags and also Goliath at Six Flags New England. Uh, so action-packed video. Uh, want to see your comments, your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And uh, I'd love to read them uh, and reply to them. All of them, of course. You know I reply to all of them. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And for now, my name is Coaster Child. Coop, living the coaster life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.